If you know what you want in your new home in terms of fit and finishes so it works with your lifestyle, well, you might want to consider starting from scratch and building with a custom home builder. And today, as an example, we're going to follow along with Mike Palmer, owner of Mike Palmer Homes, on one of his custom projects in the Denver, North Carolina area and see how he integrated what his client wanted in his new home. On the front of our houses, you notice the shutters, we make those. We, we like uh, board and batten shutters made out of a composite mirror tech, looks like wood. We're not trying to avoid the plastic shutters if we can. Um, we went with a keystone over the windows and you see that over the garage doors. We got a shake, that's a, con a concrete fiber board, like a hardy board shake up there. And we did a Boston gable. And this is called the Shannon plan. It's one of our, one of our, one of our uh, uh, proprietary plans. What we did different, normally in our bonus room, we have the dormer on the front, This, I mean on the back. This one we did it facing the front, and I think it worked out real well. Real happy with the way that came out. We did a brick front. Um, we just planted sod. Now it's being deathly hot out here in summertime. Sod's always a little nerve-wracking, but it's coming in real well. We got a sprinkler system in there, so it's it, we had enough cool weather to get it rooted in. So I think we're out of the woods, but it is required. Concrete, our good friends at Lake Norman Concrete, they do a heck of a job. There's a steel mesh in there. They put a nice edging on there, and we try real hard to make it big enough so all these cars can turn around. Because he's got he's got a real nice garage. This garage is pretty special because it's air conditioned and uh, mm -hmm. air conditioned and heated. And it's got a lot of nice features in there. It's got high lift doors. We'll, we'll look at that in sure. just a minute here. And how many square feet is it, Mike? This is about 3,000. Okay. It's, uh, it's got four bedrooms. One could be an office. It's two, two bedrooms down. You know, the mother-in-law, mm -hmm. bedroom, office, spare room. And it's got two bedrooms up and a huge bonus room. Really nice bonus room. And we have this front porch. This is a detail a homeowner wanted. Um, we did a curved step here, did a rounded step. This is a, uh, a powder coated aluminum rail, so pretty much maintenance free. Mm -hmm. And we have to get a special piece here to, to go with the flare outs. Right. Normally, if it's two stairs, we don't need a rail, mm -hmm. but this, we need a certain height to get the car lifts in. And normally, and normally with a courtyard entry, it's always difficult because we don't want the stairs to stick out and interfere with the car. This is the homeowner's personal touch. Nice. Beautiful fountain. <laughs> Makes me thirsty. Um, front porch, we did a 90 pine tiny roof ceiling. Our beams are all mirror tech. This is a composite custom made post with a pedestal, but this is a composite, so it won't ever rot, rot on you, but it still has that nice wood look. That's our front. We got a mahogany door that's called Flemish glass. Let's light in, but it, it preserves your privacy so you can't see in. Right. We're going to take our shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> take shoes off. Yes. Notice the floor. That's a finished in place. Number one here. Um, light fixture to all customers' choice. This is a Curtis Crown type of crown mount in here. We did a craftsman style wine scotting. Half wall, this is a high, we, we got a number of these that we have, and there's all the trim, this is called neck and over door, it's a trim okay. detail that we do. And is the trim, is that like two pieces together, or is that one? That's one piece. One, one piece. That's okay. one piece, so we've done plenty of two piece, yes. three piece, gotcha. four piece. And this is called a grid ceiling, or we call it coffered or a grid ceiling. Right. Uh, we, put, we put recessed can lights up, mm -hmm. up there, so uh, they, they have a crown mold in each one of those. And this is 12 foot high, so you got you know, to separate the space. This is a dining room. Now when this house was first designed, this wall was closed off. Mm -hmm. But after I framed it, I came in and put up a, I put an arch in here, arch entrance. And then the more we do this, the more we realize, why don't we just open the whole thing yeah. up? He kind of likes that. And we put a double slide right here, the screen porch. So when you come in, this whole area feels open. It feels like an extension of the house. And you go open these doors for the space. Um, Get your TV. We did a brick facade fireplace, and a lot of ours were doing stone, but this one we did brick, and that's a house. Um, gas log, and they did a built in there. And right now, the wiring, the sound crew is in here wiring it up. And come on in. You're good. Come on in. You're good. Um, now, porches. 
decks when they're up high usually we do a wood deck when they're down low we like to put a concrete uh concrete deck here this we wrap with mirror tech and we put a product called screen a's on there mm -hmm. um, and this is one of our signature naughty pine tongue and groove ceilings we try to do in most of our houses and of course a nice patio back there with a radius with a curved edge right. for the grill and just a question what is the uh code on height in would you have to put something here for a certain height? Is it 36? 30, 30, inch, 30, 30 inches. inches? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You know, 30 inches, we need a railing. Right. We obviously like that clean look. We yeah. like like the openness, so you feel like the woods, you know, is an extension yeah. of your yard. So that's what we strive for. Right. Um, also depends on the posts. If they're going to be mm -hmm. some of those green posts, they tend to warp. So sometimes we need. Gotcha. We need it in there to stabilize it. Yeah. Um, to keep that from warping. Yeah. We got this product. It's called Screenies on here. Okay. Because sooner or later these screens start to sag and get mm. old, or a pet will go through it. Yeah. So that way you can just pop a cap off. But these are these are kind of hmm. understated. Yeah, I've not know. seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, it costs a little more, but yeah. when you got to change a screen, it's a lot mm. easier. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll put TV jack here. TV jack. Oh yeah, right. So they can have a TV here and they can arrange this living space, mm -hmm. space however they want. Uh, but this is you know, just a nice, clean, open look. Dining area here, next to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Obviously, got this alcove here, and uh, a lot of times we put our window seat here, but the mm -hmm. customer chose to have it this way. Right. Um, light fixtures, are, we, we we just about always put pendant lights. We like them over our sink. Right. And they bought some cool accessories. I really like this stuff. I'm a fan mm -hmm. of the open sink. Some people do the 60/40. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, we don't like open. <laughs> yeah. Um, now. They didn't want the microwave above there. Mm -hmm. So they got the microwave here. And this is way cool. Yeah. Cool. Anyway. Nice. Cool appliances. Mm. So they got this nice clean look though. That's mm -hmm. what's in is a clean lines. Mm -hmm. um, I like the big subway tile. Mm -hmm. I mean, years ago we were putting the pencil mold and a lot more busyness mm -hmm. going on. But nowadays people are just going for the clean lines and this is a little bit of oversized subway tile with the waves. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like that accent, it goes real well with the paint. Mm. I did a great job. She worked really hard picking these yeah. colors. Not bad. Um, this is obviously a fridge and they went with mm -hmm. an accent here. Right. And it's one of our touches. Okay. USBs, because ah. if you have teenagers, all your bricks disappear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> these won't disappear. <laughs> we got them in the master suite as well. Cool. So the island, they did an island a different color, mm -hmm. but they all went with the same poles. Right. Same poles and... Uh, but he likes the nice. island there. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take a look at the sure. master suite. Sure. Thermostats, obviously. Right. Oh, where well, the brick meant the yeah. That was kind of a rough line. So yeah. The customer asked us to put a piece of trim. Yeah. So I thought that. Yeah, that's reasonable. Looks that, good. Uh, yeah, it cleaned it up a lot because otherwise you mm. get that wavy line. Yeah. Uh, in here, let's turn the light on. Mm -hmm. You got four can lights. Once again, the clean lines are in, so this coffer is just one raised. Right. Uh, we've done on one level, two level, yeah. angle for stop, for yeah. the double stop sign look. But anyway, and a lot of people are doing this now too. They're skipping the carpets. Yeah. They say, we don't want the carpets, carpets can be nasty. So right. spend a little more with this hardwood. I put a rug down, the hardwood will stay. Yep. Yeah. Forever. Um, we, they did That's some nice. open shelves here, yeah. which is real nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we got two sinks. They want the custom mirror. Mm -hmm. You got your tub. Um, I like these big 12 by 24 tiles. Mm. I like this clean look. Now, a lot of times we're putting a granite threshold on here, mm -hmm. but they opted to do this, but this is almost like a, mm. almost looks like a little piece of crown mold here. It does. Yeah. But that border goes all the way around on this wainscoting, yeah. so it ties it in there real nice. Yeah. Um, we want the transom window in the shower. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you still have privacy, but it lets, lets natural light in. Niches, big fan of niches. Yeah. I like the clean look in the niche. Some people mm -hmm. like an accent or a mosaic there. Right. Um, I like this mosaic because it blends right in. Right. Now this is a, a custom poured shower, it's not a mm -hmm. you know, shower pan. Yeah. So they need to use smaller tiles to conform so that the water flows downhill. Right, right, but right. Uh, our friends at the Tile Authority have been doing a real nice job for us. Mm -hmm. We're real happy to have them on the team. Mm -hmm. um, what are you seeing nowadays for this? Are we going back to this chrome kind of the, the Chrome, or? yeah, chrome has made a reemergence. Yeah. It went out for a little while. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing much of the brass, although you've seen some of that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the standard one in most of our houses is one from Delta called Delta Linden, mm -hmm. but you know, customer chose around. Right. This is a Delta. I'm not, I don't remember off the top of my head yeah, which yeah, it was, yeah. but anyway, 
Master closet. Mm -hmm. They went with custom shelves. Okay. Usually we price in our uh, um, you know, standard shelves. Mm -hmm. But uh, they built they built shoe organizers. Mm -hmm. We had our trim crew build that. And there's there's yeah. kinds you can get. There's a melamine, which are almost like a formica. Right. Or you know usually we just price it in wire shelves, and the customer mm -hmm. can customize it however mm -hmm. they want. And nice chrome rods here. Right. And it does for the trim carpenters, they custom build these two size, so that costs a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the painters have to paint all this, so that gets a little... Yes. It's about as much for painting these things as it is to build. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they're, they're a nice touch. Yes. I, uh, you know, I opted to not do wire shelves in my house. I was mm -hmm. going to get to it later, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's 15 years later, and it's something <laughs> like that. So, something to think about. Yep. You know, you can stretch now. But, yes. Uh, that's always going to be the dilemma in custom homes, you know, right. when you got to stop spending at some point. some point, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> downstairs, we've got the master suite. Yeah, one Small side. The kitchen, mm -hmm. dining area. What was nice here is you have a dining table here that's going to get used and you're going to see, right. you know, right. it's not going to be some hidden room that nobody mm -hmm. ever goes into. Right. Um, back here, well, this pantry. Mm -hmm. They're already getting it set up. Yeah, it's got that curve in there too. Yeah, that's a melamine. That's yes. that's that's a manufactured shelf, a little yes. different, but it's it's like a formica. You can take a sponge and wipe it. Yeah. Um, when you put painted shelves in a pantry, your can goods can over and can get that little tack and mm -hmm. stick to it and get mm -hmm. a rust circle. Mm -hmm. A nice laundry room. Mm -hmm. Nice granite top nice. here. Yeah. Nice cabinets, nice yeah, cabinets. I've never really seen a backsplash yeah. in there. Too. Well, nice. when you got that, you got yeah. detergent, you got all the yeah. nastiness, yeah. you can wipe that down, and yeah. it, it is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that, I'm surprised we don't have better technology with our dryers mm -hmm. nowadays. It's just, <laughs> those things are a pain in the neck, mm -hmm. how you do it. This is what we call a drop zone. Right. Now, they're, they're putting a custom light switch, but we put the cubbies up here. Mm -hmm. And he went with a, a stained oak bench here. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's just white, but yeah. more, you know, it goes with the floor. Sure. Now usually we make these bigger, mm -hmm. but actually with the garage, the way it came out, mm -hmm. we don't want steps interfering with mm -hmm. the car, so we actually pulled this wall back a little bit. Gotcha. Because it's just the two of So we sacrificed some of the drop zone yeah. to make his garage work That's out. Uh, in bathroom, this is second bath. Uh, uh, this shower. They went with a different, still a clean look, yeah. but they went with a with a different gray tile. Mm -hmm. I really, I really, mm. this worked out well. Yeah, that, I really like the color scheme. The Sometimes yeah. when you mix colors, it makes me a little yeah. nervous. But this one goes, it just kind of brings exactly. everything together. Mm. And I like the niche. Yep, I like the understanding niche in there. So that's cool. Um, Very nice. And we're getting their own personal touches in here. Yep. I always like a better one. <laughs> comes in and makes it theirs. <laughs> And we've got it all cleaned up pretty much. Yeah. Uh, we wire see for ceiling fans in the back bedroom. It's pretty mm -hmm. much standard thing we do. You don't have to put in a ceiling fan, but this is wired for it, so you can right. if you want to. Right. And another thing, I try to stay away from bifold doors whenever mm -hmm. I can because mm -hmm. they break all the time. They've broken before I'm in the house. I like the door with a real hinge. Right. These are ball caps. So that's just your traditional wire. Yeah. But that's kind of set up like a like a closet door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there we go. Perfect. And a lot of times we do, we'll do like a basket pattern every right, once. Yes, but yes. this was a little different. They went with a square craftsman manual, mm -hmm. this post. And so, so it's kind of this, keeping this a little more a little uniform. Right. Come up with the style a little better. Uh, the stairs, you can carpet stairs, but I, I kind of like this. Yeah. You know, this Panic riser and stain, stain tread. Yeah. And, you know, if you were to put carpet here, this is a wear spot. That carpet's going to yeah, yeah. show up a lot of signs. Yeah. And the same up here. Yeah. What we prefer to do is in the hallway, if possible, put hardwood up here. Now, mm -hmm. all these things do have a little bit of cost. Yeah. They do add up, but still, this is a, a traffic area, mm -hmm. so this is going to hold up a lot better. Yeah. So you got two bedrooms up here. Right. One here. Mm -hmm. uh, just real standard. Closet, yeah. Yeah. but Ooh, that's what we try to do is closets mm. wherever we can. I like a full mm. size door access to mm. the attic, but this, mm. this is not a full size. Yeah. You got your mechanicals up here, but you see you got a nice big space to store. Mm. We put their extra tile and stuff mm -hmm. in there, but we try to put a nice big space up yeah. here. Have our framers lay down plywood and put a railing so that right. you know you, you can stack a lot of Tupperware and 
Yeah. The one those big Tupperware. Those big. <laughs> I call them Tupperware, but they're big. Yeah, I know. Big, I know what you mean. Those. Yep. Yeah. Storage yeah. boxes. Everybody, everybody knows what I mean. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a, that's neat. That way you but, step up in there. You know, they left left boarded back, so mm -hmm. privacy from their neighbors, yeah. and you kind of get that nice yeah. wooden feel. Yeah. Yeah. These nice lots are harder and harder to find. Yeah. This is bed in the other bedroom, and this is carpeted. Yeah. Ceiling fan, and you got a triple right. window. Gotcha. Great, because you can look and see what the neighbors are doing. Yeah. <laughs> see what kind of junk they have in the garage. Yeah. Um, and the closets. Right. A closet. And then we see these in all these homes nowadays, these kind of multimedia panels. This is where we hook up their uh, Cat 5s and all the wireless features yeah. and things like that nowadays. Yeah, structure panel. Right. But that's that's something he's doing probably. Right. That's, yeah, that's something that you could upgrade. Yeah. And, but yeah, yeah. All these new homes seem to have this but nerve nowadays, center now, I mean, right? You used to have a few things, the alarm guy or the, yeah, uh, yeah. the electrician would hook it up. Nowadays, it's a all specialty. All you specialty. Had your, you had yep. your own contractor come in. Yep. This area could be a computer desk or a note for mm -hmm. kids. Right. Kind of. Sure. Uh, now in here, well, this. Is that more storage? Or? Well, you need some or, storage under there, but yeah. the, here's the air conditioner for the garage. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There's a unit. That's where we housed it. Um, oh, that's right. You have one for the garage. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, well, you put a TV up there. Yeah. But we do a walkthrough. When the house is just frame, in framing, we walk through with the customer and they, we mark on right. stuff. With it. So if they want to hang a TV here, or see, they put put a TV jack here and here. Gotcha. Now, when there's no sheetrock up, it costs you know, yeah. very little money to yeah. do it. That way, he has the option of doing right. whatever right. um, he want. That's what and you want to do. Typically, with a two bed, two car garage, mm -hmm. I like these dormers so you mm -hmm. don't have that tunnel vision. You have this big open, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it changes the room. Mm -hmm. So. With a, with a regular two car garage, usually we put in a 12 foot dormer. Mm -hmm. With a three car, usually you bump it to a 16 foot dormer, mm -hmm. and I put two doubles. And in a mm -hmm. 12 foot, I put a triple window. These mm -hmm. I put two doubles. I mm -hmm. don't want to do a quad because they can get unstable. So mm -hmm. we just have this area in between. Mm -hmm. You still get that effect. Mm -hmm. But this house, we went with a, a pretty long garage. Right. So we, went, we expanded this out to a 20 foot dormer. Yeah, that's and nice. you can see the space. This is just a yep. great space. Yep. Um, you could just about put a wall here and make that a bedroom and then put yep. a little bathroom over there and still yeah. have a huge space. Yep. So these, these bonus rooms are, are pretty versatile. Are you seeing people put little wet bars and entertainment? Oh, yeah, yeah we've done yeah. that. You put a wet bar yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. You put, we had one put a mount a camera here and above the window, oh, yeah. pull down screen, so right. the movie room. We had right. one where I came back and the homeowner and his sons had built like mm. several tiers. Mm. So they had that, right. that movie yeah, theater movie effect. Theater. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I had all kinds of fun with that. Cool. And there's, we got two cold air returns. You right. have to really make, make sure of it. Yep. We also went with this house. What a lot of people do is a mm -hmm. gas furnace. Okay. Um, we use mostly heat pumps here and mm -hmm. they are a good product. They just drop off in efficiency when it gets cold. Right. It gets below 32 degrees, which we only have short spells down here. But mm -hmm. you put your hand over that heat pump and you mm -hmm. feel the, the mm -hmm. air and it's only like 90 degrees and mm -hmm. people are like, is that even hot? And yeah. it runs constantly. Yeah. With a, with a gas furnace, mm -hmm. it costs you a couple thousand more, but mm -hmm. you get that, you know, that yep. gas heat, you know, yep. you feel warm. Yep. You don't feel moving. Yeah, I've never had one. I wish I could get one, but I've ever, yeah. every place I build and live, well, we don't have yeah, natural yeah, gas. It's it, it just all how you want to spend <laughs> yeah. your money. Yeah. And we got... Nice. You got a big staircase, so you can yep. put a pretty fixture in yeah. there. Yeah. Pretty fixture. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look in here. This is the garage from heaven. Yes. <laughs> now, a couple things we did to work. You want to wash cars in here? You got a hose. Right. A hose is in here. You don't go worry about freezes or any of that. Yeah. Um, these steps. We push this wall, normally it comes out here. We pushed it back because the garage is right here. Gotcha. And we want to get a minimum 11 feet here. Mm -hmm. We got high lift tracks, hmm. so they can do put double deck of storage of cars. A lot of car enthusiasts want that around here. Nice. We're kind of using that. Right. This area of the country, there's a lot of car enthusiasts, old mm -hmm. cars, race cars. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mm -hmm. put all that together that way. But normally we try to get the garage height up here. Right. So we only have two steps. You don't need this rail. Right. This rail is one more thing in the way. But when the car comes in, I didn't want to hit the stairs. Right. If we had this wall out here, the stairs would have come mm -hmm. here. And that's where 
a lot of the thought and planning beforehand. You really, when you're grading, you have to watch that because it can end up being an issue. So he's got that hooked up for air compressor welder, whatever he wants to do. He's mm -hmm. got some 220s there. Mm -hmm. um, they'd be great if you had an electric car too. Mm -hmm. Great plug in for that if mm -hmm. anybody ever. Yep. And then with a Tesla or whatever, uh, uh, fridge ice maker. Gotcha. All set up. Utility sink. Yes. So Looks, like Looks like mine. Looks like mine. Put in the garage, put in here. I really yeah. try to strive to yeah. get one because they're really nice to have. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm partial to the ones that hang on the wall like this. The mm -hmm. ones with the legs. You kick them with your mm -hmm. foot and you mm -hmm. use lots of language. And there's yeah. always a ring of crud under there. <laughs> here you can throw stuff under. And, yep. And I've never had one come off the wall, but yeah. You know, I've never had anybody stand on one. <laughs> they are like bolted into a stud. Yeah. So they, I've never had any problems with that. And oh, look at that. Just well, that's our tucked away. Yeah, mm. tucked away, out of the mm. way. Mm. And another thing storage. we did here. Well, we put all the touch-up paints, but oh, we, yeah. we capture this space in here because it's yeah. good space and yeah. unsightly things you can throw right. them in there. Right. And why waste the space? Yeah. Yeah, you got a hundred, hundred some bucks in this little Smurf door, but. Mm -hmm. And coming out of the garage, if you don't want to open your garage door all the time, mm -hmm. plus this is conditioned. Yeah. This has got registered. It's got air conditioner in there. Right. So for the wall door. So they're going to keep their garbage instead of out front, out here. Right. Because that's their entrance way. Um, so it's a pad. Yep. Yeah. So we put a nice pad out here. And you got three units, one for the garage, one for the first floor, yeah. one for the second. Yeah. Is that how it works? Yeah. And in this neighborhood, we have mm -hmm. the grinder pump. Yeah. This has natural gas. Yeah. A lot of times we're doing a propane tank, more often than not. Mm -hmm. Not that many neighborhoods over on the side of the lake have yeah. natural gas. But that's called a grinder pump. There's right. a vent for it. So the HOA made us plant these shrubs. These shrubs will mm -hmm. grow and screen all that. And plus right. these will screen things as well. Right. And there's a guts of your sprinkler system. Right. And we put sod up front. We put straw and seed back here. Mm -hmm. This is coming in nicely. Give yep. us enough of a root system to yep. keep the dirt from washing away. But we are in mid-June. By the end of August, this 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 yeah, new tender good. grass is going to be struggling. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it is. Yep. Anyway. All right. It's beautiful. I see a lot of outlets at the top here. Man, that's a lot. Oh yeah, he's got it's got a whole rim. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got a lot of things planned here. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, he well, that's great. Out. He, he's got the he's got the home in the garage. He, he's wanted. Yep, and that's why you build custom. <laughs> What's that? That's why you build custom so you can get what you want. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So anyway, um, well, good. That's. What, what we do, we, what, we got a lot more. Yeah, what's a, what's a t average time frame for? I know it depends on the weather and the supply. Everything's slowed down, but before COVID or yeah. after COVID? Uh, how about how about before COVID and after COVID? Well, before COVID, I mean, I remember when I first started, you could get septic permits in four days to a week and a half. Right. Now they're four months to eight months in some areas. Oh. We got one we've been waiting on since December. We still mm -hmm. don't have it. This poor woman, you know, mm -hmm. up in another county, and they just weren't equipped for this mm -hmm. kind of growth. But um, Plus shortage of things. I mean, this window here we could mm -hmm. not get. You know, it came yeah. in damaged, unfortunately. Oh, so yeah, yeah. getting a new one. Set your back. So we put a piece of plywood over here mm -hmm. for the inspectors and stud it in, mm -hmm. and just left it open so we could continue. Mm -hmm. So the inspector would let us let us go on. Gotcha. Um, without the without the supply chain issues, I'll say it, it, from the time we break ground, not from the time you know when, you, right. when we sign a contract, it still usually has to go to the mortgage yeah. company and all yeah. that. From the time we break ground. The time you move in, mm -hmm. it's you know in, in this this level of finish, mm -hmm. it has been six months, oh. but it was five months and two days mm -hmm. once. But the stars aligned; that was perfect. Yeah, as I said, get quick. that out of your head because mm -hmm. that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's rarely six months, although it has been. Mm -hmm. It's rarely a year, although it has been. Right now, if you've got a huge basement on the lake with all kinds of technical things, mm -hmm. that's going to take longer. If we have COVID, it's going to take longer. Mm -hmm. If we change midstream and have to do structural changes and get an engineer in there, that's all that's right. going to add to it. So, right. um, you know, eight to 10 months is normally mm -hmm. what a custom home with this level of finish takes. Mm -hmm. Six to 12 is, it gives you more right. of a range. Um, some of the short supply chain issues we've had now are really, it's, mm -hmm. It's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not good. But hopefully they're getting that worked out now that the, the, the COVID thing has subsided. What do you think about lumber prices? Have they peaked or any, any thoughts uh, on that? Well, when I walked up here, you saw me on the phone. Yep. I was on the phone with a lumber rep. <laughs> He's, I've got him on speed dial. Yeah. I priced the package last week. Mm -hmm. and But he said, let's hold up on this. Let's see what it's going to be next week. We are, you know, 7 or 8% cheaper. 
So from what I hear from all the sources, the dimensional lumber, 2x4s, two 2x10s, two two mm -hmm. 2x8s, are coming down. Mm -hmm. Plywood's going to take a while longer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, things shot up. They probably won't come down to where they were, but mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. the, but they, they, they can't, even with inflation and money printing and all that, mm -hmm. nothing goes up forever. So it had a big spike, um, but we'll see. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to promise now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hearing from around the country, they're going to Lowe's, they're going to lumber yards, and they're full. Mm -hmm. There was a big drawdown before COVID, then after COVID there was a bigger drawdown, then it was a rush into housing. People started moving all over and there was a huge demand for housing and a huge demand for home products. The home products is, is waning and who knows how housing will stay is insane. But, but this big migration around the country that everyone's doing, um, sooner or later most of the people that moved due to the COVID disruption have moved and things should back off. So I'm optimistic that lumber prices are coming down. I know some of them have plywood. They say there's right here. There's still a shortage on that, and we're paying ridiculous amounts. I mean, fifty dollars for a sheet of OSB. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. I'm still in shock. And what would that have been before COVID? Ten, oh, ten bucks. Is it? The low, yeah, yeah, eight to ten dollars. Yeah. We paid that for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Um, it shot up to nineteen dollars <laughs> back in two thousand. What was two thousand six? Mm -hmm. You know, the last boom. It had been, then it came down as low as four, mm. but 50, I, I wouldn't believe that you told me, but like I said, they are getting loaded, but all these lumber yards that are now swell to the gills with inventory, mm. this inventory that they paid high dollars for, they're going to be resistant to dumping that at prices. So I think it's, you know, so this lumber is going to have to work its way through the system. Makes sense. So that's as far as I can tell from all the mm. study I've done, but I haven't gone there and measured these personally, mm. so I can't. Well, good. Well, I appreciate it. And if somebody wants to get a hold of you, Mike, how do they do that? Go to our website, MikePalmerHomes.com. We've got a really cool YouTube channel that people seem to enjoy. Uh, Mike Palmer Homes, Inc. on YouTube. So you can see a lot of videos and uh, a lot of our work because we put them all up. One house we couldn't get because the people had to move into the COVID. But since I started doing videos, we put all our work there. So uh, Great. Uh, you can see everything. Okay. And just tell me the name of this model one, one more this time. This is called the Shannon. They're all a little bit different because yeah. we customize them, but right. it's basically, oh, and uh, one of the things, one of the features on here that not to point out is, yeah. see how you come in from the garage, mm -hmm. which is the most used path of travel, right. and your stairs are right here, mm -hmm. that way the kids can come in, take oh, their stuff upstairs, yeah, yeah. and that's kind of the newer style rather than having gotcha. the stairs in the middle of the house. Right. Um, it's, it's nice to have a pretty staircase mm -hmm. in the center as a focal point, but mm -hmm. it can be Grand Central Station. Yeah. Anyway, and right. it, one thing we ask, if you found mm -hmm. any value in this video, or any, hit the like button if you go to our channels and hit the subscribe button. That helps us and we'd appreciate it. Yeah.